district devotional for today. I am Mona Christmas Fraser, minister of the Methodist Church in the Caribbean and the Americas, serving in the Leeward Islands district, the Dominica Circuit. This week, the Dominica Circuit invites us all to be still and know who God is. Let us pray. When the day turned to night, O oh God, you neither slumbered nor slept. As night turned to day, you who neither slumber nor sleep awakened us and blessed us with this day. Gracious God, to you we raise our sacrifice of praise for your immeasurable love manifested in all your beautiful creation. What does today hold for us? We do not know, O oh God. Whatever it brings, sun, wind or rain, joy or sorrow, we will be glad and rejoice in it. We will rejoice in you, O Lord our God, trusting you because you hold today in your hand. Hold us now, O God, and hold us forever. Then hold us still in Christ. As you hold us close, search us, O God, and see if there is any offensive way in us. We beg your pardon as we confess our sins. As this day unfolds, help us to walk in truth. Grant us lips that speak the truth in love. Give us the mind to face truth even when it hurts. Give us hands to work with diligence, always looking for the opportunity to reach out to others. Grant us the grace, O oh God, to conquer every temptation that will come our way. Hold close to you now, O oh God, those for whom this day has opened with pain, sorrow, or disappointment. Remind them of your abiding presence, bringing comfort, strength, and hope. Focus now our thoughts, O God, on you and your word, as you refresh us for today's journey. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. We share in the hymn, Let all the world in every corner sing. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, 
though the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. He utters his voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Be still. I am certain there is not one of us who has not heard these words spoken to us in different ways from different persons from our childhood to adulthood. Be quiet, calm down, sit still, compose yourself, relax. We have heard it in our local dialects to the Queen's English. It is a command normally given to restrict activity or to bring composure in the midst of some anxious moment. The ancient worldview was that the mountains were the structures that held up the sky and anchored the land over the deep waters. The psalmist describes the collapse of earth into chaotic destruction from flood waters, earthquake, the movement of mountains. The imagery is not far removed from our experiences as most of us live or have loved ones who live in this region in the shadow of a danger over which we have no control, in an area so often threatened by storms that invade our lands and spread chaos and disaster. Volcanic islands, the threat of earthquakes, the anxiety of the possibility of natural disasters for many is now further compounded by the present global health challenges and warring nations and the resulting effects on every sector of our nations, trickling right into our homes. Our human tendencies are to fret or to become overly active in an effort to drown out the sounds of confusion or to seek solutions that would alleviate anxiety. The psalmist was prompted to speak these words as he commanded, Be still and know that I am God. This he does as he reminds us that though all these symbols of permanency, our mountains, begin to move at the rise of flood waters, tremor of the earthquake, the violent eruption of the volcano, or the force of the hurricane winds, God is not moved. If God is not moved, then, as our refuge is in him, we shall not be moved either. The psalmist expresses a confidence in the presence and providence of God, which we would do well to embrace in our daily walk with God. This confidence in God as refuge, strength, and help increases when our ears are attuned to the command, be still. The Hebrew word for still, when translated in this context, means to cease striving, withdraw, sink down, to be weak, to let go, relax. Firstly, cease striving. Conflicts will ever surround us, and for some, there is a constant battle to survive. And oh, how some take it seriously, battling with others, battling with self, and even with God experiencing emotional roller coasters in an effort to rise above the trials of life. Being still calls us to cease striving in our own strength and instead 
trusting God to be our help in a time of need. This suggests stopping the panicky activity, putting down our weapons of war with God, others, and self. Why? Because God is in control. It leads us to say, like him writer Charlotte Elliot, just as I am though tossed about with many a conflict, many a doubt, fightings and fears within, without, O Lamb of God, I come. Secondly, be still, sink down. Sinking for any human being suggests that sense of being overwhelmed, going under. Could it be that we are being asked to give up? Certainly not. This command, sink down, is closely connected to another meaning, be weak. In order to know God is our strength, there must be an admission that we are but weak creatures. It is in acknowledging our weakness and sinking down in quietude that we see our frailty, yet behold the strength of God. God's strength is made perfect in weakness, we are reminded by Paul in 1 Corinthians. With the songwriter, we admit, I am weak, but you are strong. Jesus, keep me from all wrong. I'll be satisfied as long as I walk. Let me walk close to thee. Thirdly, be still. Let go. Let go of the burdens, the cares, the anxieties, the sinful habits, the bad attitudes. Let go and let God be God. Think of Jesus calming the storm. The disciples were fighting the waves frantically, trying to save themselves. But really, all they had to do was be still and look at the one who could calm the storm with just a few words. Let go, that is, we release the reins of life into God's hands. We let God be at the helm of our ship. When the helm of a ship is rotated in a particular direction, the ship turns in that direction. So we let go and let God chart the direction of our lives. Fourthly, and finally, relax, calm down. May I ask of someone today, why are you so anxious with fluttering heart, confused mind? Hectic pace that sleep is affected. Diet is compromised. Friendships are suffering. Love for God is waxing and waning. A tired, fighting life. Relax. Calm down. God is in control. What happens when we are still? We can know God. To know means to be aware of. When things are chaotic all around, we will be tempted to respond accordingly. When we are anxiously running around trying to calm the storms ourselves, the tendency is to lose sight of God, to forget about his power. When we are still, the reminder is constant. Our omnipotent God is with us. In that knowledge, let us place our trust in God for today for the rest of our lives, so we know God as our refuge, a well-proved help in time of trouble. Cease striving, withdraw, sink down, be weak, let go, relax, be still, and know who God is. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, in the busyness of life, through the winding roads of trials and conflicts, amidst the deafening noise of the complexities of life, in the anxious moments, the times of doubt and failure, teach us to be still and to know that you are the ever-present refuge and help in time of trouble. And now may the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Amen. Be still, my